Okay, I'm super, super curious to see if this is going to post today. And if you guys can hear anything that I say. So, I am in South Dakota in Keystone. It was just quite a second ago until motorcycles just drove by. So, that's fun. <laughs> um, I am, look, I'm going to show you guys where I am. So, this town is this little town. This is where you come when you go to Mount Rushmore. And here's the little city. Right? And then you can't even see where I'm at. Like, there's this adorable boardwalk. Good morning, Adrian. We're in South Dakota. We went and saw Mount Rushmore last night. And I'm upstairs, so you can't see everybody out there. But, um, I am excited to be able to do uh, Good Morning Sunshine with you guys, Miracle Morning together. Today, we've been camping in an area where our internet's super spotty. So for the next like three days, I have no idea. I'll try to jump on. I'm super surprised this one's even posting. So good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Ginger. How are you guys? Thank you for joining. We're doing our Miracle Morning together. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Good morning, Monica. So what we do is we start our day off powerfully so that we can have um, just like a great attitude, a great spirit about life, gratitude for everything that's around us, for what we've accomplished so far and forward movement for improving our lives in areas that maybe aren't like the level 10 that we want so realizing you're you're worthy of more you deserve more and if, if you want more right whatever you're going after is at your fingertips so that's what we do each morning together good morning Helen good morning Naveen how are you guys and we start off with our gratitude always well actually you guys start off with your good morning sunshine so write good morning sunshine for all my friends that are on here jumping on I can kind of see you guys some of you not so much just because the internet reception but good morning Meridian what a cool name Meridian Rose man I love that morning Carissa so write good morning sunshine or hashtag GMS and um, that's just how we just start to converse right if you're new drop a one and then we can say hello to you and then um, if you're a regular you know that sometimes you do your entire miracle morning routine right so every day we start with our gratitude just so that we can warm our hearts up um, and sometimes on Mondays honestly if you guys are back to work after a holiday week you might be where you're like I just need some happiness right now right like I'm feeling like Oh, I got to wake up. I'm back at the grind. So much noise right now. It's cracking me up all of a sudden. Um, but share some gratitude because it's going to help warm your heart up. So I am grateful right now that I was able to sneak out of the hotel room so that my babies could sleep in because they're so dang tired. I'm grateful for the experiences I've had these last three days on our family road trip, seeing Mount Rushmore, um, seeing just so many beautiful mountains for the hikes that we're about to go on and um, all of our other experiences. I'm grateful that my baby is 13 weeks old now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the size of a peach, I guess. Um, it's funny you guys, I don't look like I'm pregnant in the morning, but I do in the afternoon. Look, not as pregnant today, right now, but in the afternoon, I look like I'm freaking 20 weeks old, like pregnant. 20 weeks old. God, good, get it together. Morning, Jeb. Morning, Jeffrey. Okay, I'm just flashing the camera now. It's no problem. And I'm grateful that I'm in my pajamas, out having coffee with you guys, like this, um, looking like this. Didn't even get ready. So it's perfect. What are you grateful for? Share anything. Um, Jeff's grateful for his backyard. It looks freaking amazing, Jeff. I'm sure that might be one of yours. And um, then today is Monday, so we focus on our silence. So what I'd like for you guys to do is just share if you're playing along with your miracle morning routine. Good morning, Jamie. Meaning, are you practicing these different things? Are you practicing some sort of silence and time with yourself each day? And if so, what is the last meditation, silence, quietness that you had? Whether that was a yoga class, it was on a run, it was in the shower. Like I said, I don't know when you get your times. It was a five minute walk. Have you had time to get into your own head? Because that's how you discover like the thing that we're about to talk about right now is <clears throat> whether you're satisfied completely with where you're at remember you have gratitude where you're at but are you completely satisfied or are you wanting for more in your life and guys that's something important to remember I feel like I talk a lot about achieving more um, remember that there's always gratitude for where you're at we have such I and mean, we are so lucky and we are so blessed for what we've got going on in our lives um, but that doesn't mean that we can't want for more just because you have a lot going on doesn't mean that you can't want for um, more success or better relationships or more income or more happiness around your marriage or um, more happiness around how you're mothering or fathering or whatever like there's there's more that you could want in your life and that's okay to want for more it's whether or not you're willing to work for more right because everybody can want for it everybody can work for it but do you do you do you really want to put in the effort to create that more in your life so just make sure you understand that balance when we're talking in here morning Andrew what's going on buddy um, 
Okay, I wanted to talk about culture this morning because I was thinking about it as we got up and snuck out of the hotel room, right, so that the kids could keep sleeping. Like, I'll let them sleep until 10. Those babies need to develop their bodies and their minds and their brains. Like, I don't care how late they sleep, right? So we, like, sneak out to go get coffee because I drink decaf coffee now that I can't drink my tea with caffeine in it. Um, so this is a thing. Like, all of a sudden, it's a regular thing. So we come out to this little cute town. We're like, oh, there's probably 18 coffee shops. It's going to be so cute. And we start walking down the boardwalk. And literally, you guys, like, no one's awake. Like, no one's up. This is... This Let's talk about like culture. Like, I mean, boardwalk. This is why I can talk this loud right here. Like, where are the people? The morning sunshine. They're not here. It's after eight. Like for me, back in Colorado, it's eight a.m. Like the places are bumping. I said there are like eighteen people awake, but there's a lady. She's up. There's three people. They're up. So look at. There's a lot of us that are up and doing stuff. How do I turn this back around? Wait, wait. Okay, it's back on me. All right. Um, and I was just thinking about it. You know. There's so many different levels of culture that create who we are, um, especially if we're influencees instead of influencers. Um, if we're, I don't wanna like say like followers instead of leaders, right? And in different areas of your life, in order to be a leader or the influencer, it can be really challenging because you have to be willing to do what no one else is doing. And it's so much easier to do what everybody else is doing because it's natural, it's common. It's what it's what your, morning Kendrick, what's going on? I haven't seen you for a while, good to see you. Um, morning Heather, how are you? So it's so much easier to do what the people are doing around us. So let me like, just look at this. Okay, so in my current situation, right where I'm at, I'm in a town culture, right? So the town culture, obviously, is very touristy, right? So um, everybody gets up later, they stay up later. I mean, I'm sure we were in bed by nine, but I'm sure all the restaurants, everything were packed last night at nine or 10. So everybody stays up later, they wake up later. Um, it creates a different culture that they live, right? And it's not just their time that they wake up and go to sleep, but it's um, how people eat, um, the types of foods that are around. Do people exercise? Is that an active part of what they do? Is there, um, like are people in the grind are they moving all the time? Are they relaxing a lot? So there's this like direct town that I'm in in a culture. Um, there's also, of course, you guys, like the obvious culture that you think about is the American culture versus European culture. Like your, like, net, like whatever, your um, country, I guess, culture is what you would think of because each one of us work and live a different way, right? So Americans, we um, have different level of expectations of grind, right, of relaxation, of food. I mean, what, 70% of us are obese or overweight versus other countries where you don't see that. Um, yet there's more relaxing in other areas than there is here. Like there's just so much, we have so much stress in America, but there's a culture that we're a part of is that. Then each state has a culture. Like I know Colorado is one of the fittest states. So in Colorado right now, if I was at home, there would be people all over. There would be people running up and down. I would have seen like 18 people working out, let alone 18 people up right now. I'd see people hiking up mountains. Like that's the Colorado culture. You guys that live there know what I'm talking about. I would look out um, when I lived in Vista Ridge, I'd look out at the path and I would love it when I would run past bus or something. I would run past, you know, 15 people in a 30 minute time period doing the same thing because that was our culture there, right? Versus you guys can share with me, um, like Kenrick, I don't know what your culture is there. Do people, are people waking up? Because you're from, I can't remember, we met on vacation. Um, Kenrick, tell me where you're from again. So what I'm curious is like people there, do they wake up? Are they, are they exercising? Are they eating healthy? Are they um, going to work at whatever time? So there's a culture in your state, right? In your local area. And then there's the, the next piece, you guys, is the culture in the friendships that you make. The culture in the, <laughs> in the trucks that are around. Hey, Ginger, you the bomb or is this the second Ginger? So I can't tell from the picture. Okay, I'm almost done here. So there's the culture in the, the people that you choose to set yourself around, right? So um, there's like the most obvious one is the culture of your family. Um, has it been natural? since you were small, like does your family wake up and you see them working out and you see them eating healthy and you see them working hard um, or do you see your family having like carbs for breakfast, carbs for lunch, carbs for dinner and sitting on the couch for two hours a night. That's your family culture. That's a part of what you were raised in, right? And then you start to choose your friends. And um, when you start to choose your friends, it could be because of the job that you choose. So first you choose a job and then you're around people or you choose a certain level of education and you're around people and you choose to stay in that group or in that mesh of people. 
And when you look around, this is just an encouragement for you guys, when you look around at what they're running after in their life, is it does it fall in line with what your dream is? How we always talk about over here and over here, right? So you have where your life is, you, you're grateful for it, you love where you're at, it's like it's, you're, it's amazing what you've been given, right? For all of us, we have so much gratitude. And then you have this dream world over here, and it's okay to dream about other things. It's okay to want more. It's okay to want um, a happier, like a happier um, success in your where you work. It's okay to want a happier marriage. It's okay to want um, a happier relationships with your children. Like it's okay to want all that. So you have that. Are you working on getting into a culture where people are in that space, or are you allowing yourself to stay with people who are maybe content? Like not just grateful for where they're at, but content with never growing, content with always waking up at 9 a.m., content with um, you know sitting in front of the TV for hours or on their social media for hours, or content with um, like food's a big one. This is why I bring it up in culture. But like when you look around at what people just eat, like it's like um, have you ever gone on vacation with someone? Okay, so some of my people that are clients, right? Have you ever gone on vacation with someone? where literally it's like okay every it's like the day is set around what meal you're gonna eat and there's full meals of breakfast and full meals of lunch and full meals of dinner and I look at that I'm like oh my god like I would weigh 400 pounds if I ate that much food all day long instead of picking something light and something healthy that's just the way that my um, what my body wants right this truck's gonna park right in front of this like literally hold on this is what this guy right there He's awake, so that's cool. Um, <laughs> we'll see how loud he is. There was nobody awake. Now there's 400 truckers. They're all right. That's a different culture. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are all jumping off. You're like, I am not going to listen to this truck for the next five minutes. Okay. So the culture of your friendships, the culture of your family, and we've talked about how you're the average of five people that you're around, but truthfully, you guys, there's a culture you set yourself in, and in order to break out of it, you have two options. You have two options, and not that you shouldn't be grateful for it, and you shouldn't love the people that are around you. Like, I love my family, I love my friends. I've gone through many sets of cultures over the last 15, 20 years. Morning, gal pal, guy pal. Um, like if you looked at all my friendships that I had 15 years ago versus the friendships that I have now, it's different, it's progressed, right? And, and yours is progressing too, no matter whether you know that or not, because you find someone, you're like, oh, this meshes with what I do, and then you find somebody else, this meshes with what I do. Um, and it can move kind of down, like um, I, I, want, I want somebody who's gonna make me feel great about like about just wanting to not do anything over the weekends instead of do the yard work that I need to do. I want somebody who's gonna make me feel great about not wanting to exercise. I want somebody who's gonna make me feel great about um, not wanting to read or expand my mind. I want somebody who's gonna make me feel great about like their marriage sucks too. Their whatever sucks too. Their whatever, like fill in the blank. If it, if it, if it sucks for them, I wanna be around them because then I feel good and powerful because I'm around people whose life suck as much or more than mine. And once again, not trying to be like mean about it because we're grateful for what we have, but when you allow yourself to, to be around people who are going to be okay with bringing you down or provide you with like high fives for where your situation is, that's much in a much easier culture. Can you guys get that? That's a much easier culture than choosing to be around people who challenge you. Choosing to be around people that say, hey, why don't you maybe see your way out of that? Like it doesn't seem like that's making you very happy or you're complaining about your weight all the time. Why don't you do something about it? Like why don't we do something together about it? Or um, you're always upset about your job. Like maybe let, let's think about pursuing something else. Like maybe there's something else out for you or you're, you're always stressed out about finances. Uh, have you considered like looking at Ramsey or um, like finding another way to supplement your income? Something like that, right? Because those people, make you either, if you're really uncomfortable with where you're at, they'll make you feel bad for who you are. Because instead of seeing hope and like hope and uh, excitement for the future, you see an I'm not good enough. And that's not what they're saying when they're trying to help you. They're really just trying to help you up. This is an elevated culture that you can choose to be a part of. You just have to choose, okay, that's really cool that they want to help me. They're not trying to make me feel bad for where I'm at. They just want me to be happier in my setting and it's going to take some work. So I want to be around that person more. Or I want to be around um, this guy more who just says like, let's just go for a run in the morning, right? So you can adjust your culture, your personal culture, right? 
you live in America, it is what it is. Food is everywhere and fried food is everywhere. Like that is what it is. But you can adjust your small culture settings by each individual friendship you decide to create. So that's one option is adjusting your friendships and your relationships and not like giving up on everybody else. Although there are some people worth giving up on, like if they're just really gonna bring you down all the time, to be fair. Um, but not just giving up on like most people, right? Just elevating and having some higher level relationships. But then also there's the fact that you could be the leader. This one's really hard though, you guys. To be the leader in a situation and take a stand for what you're running after can be very challenging. So if you want to be the leader in a setting and none of your friends, none of your, the, your, your group of people work out in the morning, but you want to make that a point and you want to start to get to other people to do it with you, then you can be the leader in it. Um, if it's if it's eating healthy, you could be the leader in that. If it's building better relationships, it's like no, I'm gonna take a stand. Like my, I deserve to have a, a, an extremely happy marriage. And even though it might suck getting there, it might be a lot of freaking work getting there. I'm gonna get there. I'm not just gonna le live in in a state of mediocrity. And and talk to people like that. Like let them know I'm gonna be the leader in this area. And I would love, um, you know, for any area that you want to be elevated. And that'll be confronting to them. Like what do you mean? Like mine's not good enough. Like watching TV for two hours a night isn't good enough? No, it's perfect, but I'm leading in a different way. I'm leading in a different area. Does that make sense for you guys? So this all started because I woke up this morning and I'm in a town where you don't really do anything except for get on a train. Those are most of the people that are awake right now. Um, or drive trucks and park them right in front of my video. That's what you do. The, everybody else is sleeping still, so the 8 a.m. culture here is different than at home. But um, I'm so happy I was able to do the live today. We'll see how it works in the mountains tomorrow. And then we'll be like hiking early, I think on uh, Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm, Wednesday or Thursday. I don't even know. I'm surprised I knew it was Monday, you guys. So I hope you guys had a good weekend. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, coming. I wish I was, I could have brought you to Mount Rushmore yesterday. I said I was gonna do that. I'm such a punk. Okay, I'll try to do a couple more lives because this place is gorgeous. All right, thanks guys. Have a good day. Bye.